Good day, viewers. Welcome to another edition of this week online class. My name is Ms. Ogunda Refoluke. This week on Omic Nomis, we'll be talking about, we'll continue with our topic, which is LD feeding and eating practice. So, under this LD feeding and eating practice, we'll, we have to so The first topic says that effects of an LD feeding practice. What the second one said, food addictives. Under food addictive, We'll be talking about the uses of food addictive. That is what food addictive means. That is what we're we'll talking about the definition of food addictive and the uses of food addictive. Let's proceed. We are starting with effects of unhealthy feeding practice. What are the effects of unhealthy feeding habits? We are talking about effect on when we are talking about unhealthy feeding practice. We've discussed earlier on about Healthy feeding practice. We said healthy feeding practice is eating from all the six classes of food. Eating regularly from all the six classes of food. But we are talking about on healthy feeding practice. It means poor food choice for a very long period of time. When you choose food poorly for a long period of time, that is not eating balanced diet. And not eating balanced diet can cause some effects to the body. And the following are the effects in which unhealthy food unhealthy food can cause into our body. The first one we have stomach ache. What do you mean by stomach ache? Stomach ache is when you discover that you are you, you think you are not comfortable with the way your stomach is. When you are when you are felt poorly, when you are felt poorly, you didn't eat very well. You didn't eat very well. You just eat from only one class of food. You will discover that it's going to lead to stomach ache. Poor feeding leads to stomach ache. It's it's it causes stomach ache very well. And the second one we have occurrence of some disorder in the body. That is the, when we're talking about disorder, we have deformation of the body. For example, let's say when you're talking about obesity, obesity is when someone is fat than normal. This is getting fat, and we also have kwashoko. These are part of the disorder in the. Then we have stunted growth. When we are talking about stunted growth, that's poor growth. Someone that is expected to have get tall and is what is still short. That's all I mean by stunted growth. And we have irregular feeding practice. We're talking about irregular eating practice. That is not eating regularly. That is we are not eating as you're supposed to eat. Let's move to food addictive. What do you mean by food addictive? Food addictive are substances added to food to maintain or to improve its safety, freshness, taste, texture, and appearance. This is what we added to food to increase the texture, the taste, the appearance of the food. It's known as food addictives. We have different type of food. We have different example of food addictives. We have flavor. Flavor is added to food to make it to improve the taste, to improve the taste, and the Order of the food. Then we have preservative. Preservative is added to food to preserve it for a very long period of time to increase the freshness and the appearance of the food. Then let's quickly move to the uses of food addictives. We have five uses of food addictives. The first one is to improve and maintain nutritional value. When food addictives is added to a food, it improves the nutritional values of the food. That is, it increases the nutrition of the food. The second one said to enhance quality. It makes the food enhance quality. That is to increase the quality of the food, to improve the quality of the food. Then another one we have to enhance wastage to reduce wastage when for example preservative when preservative is added to a food it reduces the wastage of the food so it is very advisable for us to use preservative in our food so as to reduce the wastage of the food then we have to enhance consumer acceptability the more we preserve our food the more we increase the taste of our food the more the food will be acceptable by the customer. It increases the, the customer acceptability. Then the next, the last one, we have to improve keeping quality. That is to improve the the quality, the quality of keeping. For example, 
if a food is preserved, if a food is, if a preservative is added to a food, it will preserve it for a very long period of time, and it's going to increase the keeping quality of the food. And here we shall come to the end of today, this week online class. I hope you really enjoy yourself. Have a blessed week ahead. Thank you and goodbye.